the headlines. The White House declares a major disaster in Hawaii, where raging wildfires have claimed at least 36 lives. Anyone who's lost a loved one whose home has been damaged or destroyed is going to get help immediately. Virgin Galactic's first tourist flight completes its journey to the edge of space and back. The head of the police service in Northern Ireland apologizes for what he calls an industrial scale breach of data, which has left thousands of officers to fear for their security. And why Asia's women football teams are all ranked higher than the men's. Now, a state of emergency has been declared in Ecuador after a candidate in this month's presidential election was shot dead. Fernando Villavicencio was a serving congressman who was assassinated outside a campaign event in the capital, Quito. This evening, police said that six people have been arrested over the shooting, all of whom are Colombian nationals. Now, around the world, Barbenheimer memes have been trending online after two Hollywood films, Barbie and Oppenheimer, were released on the same day. But in Japan, the memes, some of which made light of atomic bombing, are generating a backlash, especially after the Barbie movie's official account uh, replied positively to them. Distributor Warner Brothers had to apologize, and this morning, Barbie makes its debut in Japan, but activists have launched a petition calling for the Barbenheimer hashtag to be banned. Northern Ireland's police chief says that he is deeply sorry about two data breaches revealing the identities of thousands of his officers and staff. Police unions say their members are scared of the potential risk to their safety. Members of militant groups in Northern Ireland say that they have acquired private details of some officers, but those claims have not been verified. The U.S. Supreme Court has blocked a settlement that would protect the owners of drug maker Purdue Pharma from being sued for deaths caused by opioids. Under the deal, the Sackler family would have been shielded from legal liability. Overdoses of these kinds of painkillers are blamed for tens of thousands of deaths across the U.S. each year. Donald Trump and his personal aide have pleaded not guilty to more charges related to government documents at the former president's Mar-a-Lago home. The two men and a third aide are accused of conspiring to conceal surveillance footage at Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort from the FBI. The former president and Mr. Norta had already pleaded not guilty to previous charges. You're live with BBC News. The Ivory Coast says it'll send about a thousand troops to join an international force that's been put on standby to intervene in Niger. The announcement came after an emergency meeting of the West African regional bloc ECOWAS, which decided to put its troops on alert. Niger's elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, was ousted in a coup last month, and ECOWAS leaders say that the use of force will be a last resort. Sri Lanka now is betting its future on tourism. The country was brought to its knees just a year ago by the worst economic crisis in its independent history.